Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and welcome to the Juniper Intermediate System to Intermediate System ISIS Lab Number Five. In this lab, we're going to take a look at route summarization within ISIS. So, if this network topology looks familiar to you, that's because we used it in our ISIS Lab Number Two, which was multi-area ISIS, and that was part of Juniper Series Two. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that same network topology. We've just added some prefixes to our loopbacks on router 5 and router 4. For those of you that did not watch that video yet, what I'm going to do first is explain our current network topology. What we have configured is all of the interfaces and initial IP addressing. So the first thing that we're going to do is configure ISIS on all of the devices. And then we're going to take a closer look at route summarization. So first off, all of these routers are logical systems. They are connected together via logical tunnel interfaces. If you're not familiar with those terms, I would suggest watching logical systems labs number one and two that's part of Juniper series one and what we have is all logical tunnels equal LT-120.xx what this means is for example from router 3 to router 5 that connection we have abbreviated at LT.35 that is actually LT-120.35 all the router IPs are for router 1.1. One, one. That's all of the interfaces, including the loopback. That's the fourth octet IP. Router 2 is dot .2, and et cetera down the line. So when we get to the loopbacks on router 4 and router 5 that we're going to be uh, doing route summarization on, Let's take, for instance, the loopback 0 0.5, the subnet 172.16.3.0. The actual IP address is 3.5. And on R4, loopback 0 0.4, So we have the networks between R1 and R2, that link is 12.12.12.0 slash 24. The link between R1 and R3 is the 13 network. The link between router 2 and router 4 is the 24 network. And the link between router 3 and router 5